the quad corner tool is used to convert triangular bevel corners to quad corners. As mentioned in the turn corner video, in Mesh Machine you should always work with quad corners. However, if you are working with the bevel tool or modifier, you may end up with triangular corners, and so you need a way to convert them. The simplest triangular corner is just a triangular face at the corner where three chamfers meet. To convert it, bring up the Mesh Machine menu, and choose Quad Corner, or press the Q key. With the tool active, you can move the mouse horizontally to adjust the width of the inner side. You can use the W key to toggle the width adjustment. You can scroll the mouse or use the 1 and 2 keys, to choose one of the three possible solutions, effectively turning the corner. Quad corner will automatically preserve edges marked as sharp and edges with a bevel weight. The tool can also handle triangular corners on rounded bevels. In a case like this you can also adjust the tension, using the T key and moving the mouse vertically, or by using the four tension preset keys at the bottom left of your keyboard. Note that the result will not be perfect due to differences in how the bevel tool creates its surface. But once the proper topology is established you can always refuse. Let's try this on a more realistic example. The model here was created using hardops and then C-stepped. All the bevel corners are triangular and I want to increase the bevel segments and maybe do some tweaks to the design. With all three corners of that bevel converted, I can unfuse it. If you look at this situation, it's not clear from the topology where the bevel ends, and so I'm temporarily removing some edges. I can now change parts of the design. Instead of ending the two chamfers running along the model in a flat face at the front, I want to fade or wash them out a bit. This is something you just can't do with the bevel tool or modifier. And there you go. Let's compare that to how it looked at the beginning.
much better. Washouts can be a bit tricky, but always worth it. I'm flattening some of the normals now. This is also why I flattened one of the faces earlier, because you need to have flat faces for the normal flattened tool to work properly. Watch the flattened and normal flattened videos for details. <laughs>